Edie Windsor didn't set out to blaze a legal trail, but she ended up a hero to the gay rights movement in a landmark legal battle that went to the U.S. Supreme Court. After she got married in Canada, where it was legal between two women, her spouse, Thea Spire, died and left her the estate. But the IRS did not consider her married and sent a huge tax bill because a law, DOMA, the Defense of Marriage Act, blocked the federal government from recognizing same-sex marriages. I couldn't believe that, that they were making a stranger of, of this person I lived with and loved for 40, 43 and something years. In U.S. v. Windsor, the Supreme Court struck the law down, saying it served no legitimate purpose. And just two years later, based largely on the Windsor ruling, the court struck down laws that prohibited same-sex marriage nationwide. At first a reluctant public figure, she came to enjoy her celebrity status. And a few months ago, in one of her last interviews, she said she got rock star treatment at public appearances. What happens these days is they automatically stand up and, and, and roar. And, and, uh, okay, and it feels wonderful. Her new spouse, Judith Kaysen Windsor, tonight called her a tiny but tough as nails fighter for freedom, justice, and equality. Pete Williams, NBC News, Washington. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.